Monday. Welcome back to another vlog. This is actually going to be a weekly vlog. I haven't done a weekly vlog in so long. I am so excited. Also, I just door dashed Juice Land. Did I just spend about $15 for this glorious smoothie? Yes. Yes, I did. But let me tell you why. I have been on my smoothie kick for like the last week and I just ran out of like all the stuff to like make smoothies. I have the protein powder, but I have no milk. I have, sorry if you hear the dogs, they're just eating breakfast and Ranger's gulping down water, but what's new? My straw's broken. perfection so so good i've been on my smoothie cake for the last week i think in my last vlog i was like trying to figure out how to get like more protein in the morning because like with my health issues and my gut issues i don't eat breakfast and i know that that's like a really really big problem of mine that i'm whew, trying to you know work on and i've been having protein smoothies all week i actually found a protein powder that i really really like i found this one at heb it's the owen um like plant-based protein it's actually really good and it blends really well i used to use a sprouts one and we still have it but it doesn't blend very well like with smoothies i also love to add some collagen fruit like strawberry bananas dates um honey oat milk and greek yogurt it comes out so good but i literally ran out of everything because i had one pretty much every day last week <laughs> matthew and i didn't get to go grocery shopping this weekend so i will for sure go grocery shopping today also yeah. oh my gosh okay so first of all if you're new here this is like gonna like make like no sense but if you've been coming back to my channel for a while then you know that my husband has been working the night shift for pretty much like our whole marriage he's always worked like some sort of like crazy schedule ever since i like came back to youtube after my hiatus he has always worked like some sort of like evening like overnight shift well just last week was his first week on days not even just the day shift but weekdays it is so crazy because i honestly like never thought we would come out of this like night shift phase like i thought he was always gonna work like night shift because one of the main reasons is when you work like overnight you get like a really high like pay increase but he just happened to get like a really amazing opportunity switching over to days and it was just like worth it so that's where he's at now and it is just crazy i didn't vlog at all last week it was a really big adjustment for the both of us from like going to working like day shift to working from switching our whole routine over it was just like kind of like a really big adjustment because we're both used to so many different things for like over two years so i didn't vlog or hardly film any content so i was just like trying to get like our life in order trying to do like a really like big reset for like basically our whole life and i feel good today's a new week i feel productive this past weekend was like our first like full true weekend like to ourselves which has been crazy because like not only was he working nights before but he was working like the weekends and so it was just like a really great blessing and so today's monday it's currently now 8 30 i just have my breakfast here i'm not sure if i'm gonna make a coffee or not because i am gonna leave here in a little bit to go meet a friend I'll go with her to go to an appointment and i think we're gonna probably grab lunch or coffee afterwards but i'm not too sure what we're gonna do so i probably should make a coffee i think we're actually gonna like leave around like 9 50 10 o'clock so i actually need to start getting ready One thing that's really exciting is I get to like make the bed in the mornings and like on camera too which is nice and but obviously I never got to make the bed in the morning because when I was waking up Matthew was going to sleep so now Matthew's at work and we can make the bed. I'm gonna start getting ready for the day. My hair needs dry shampoo. I actually straightened it yesterday and I don't hate it. I have to go over it with a straightener again but I was like wow I didn't really hate it. I think in like two vlogs ago I went to Sephora and I got the day dry shampoo. I actually really do like it. There is like a lot of product in here. Uh, um, like I'm like, how much should I use? Like I feel like I might actually be using like too much, but I like it. And get like really powdery, but you just have to like mix it in really well. But it works good. I feel like it isn't like 
irritate my scalp or leave like a residue or anything like that i feel like i start to feel that dry shampoo residue after maybe like the third day of me um using dry shampoo but i feel like at that point anyways you should probably <laughs> wash your hair at least for me because everybody's hair is different like i know some people can do like five to six days i just can't do that i wish i could but like once i hit to the third day my hair is like please wash me i've also been loving these facial radiance pads showed them in my last vlog like just really quickly but i saw on tiktok somebody asking like why their makeup isn't going on like good or like flawlessly or like after a while you can see like all of like these bumps like where their foundation is and somebody like not bumps um like the foundation like separates you know like where their texture is i should say and somebody stitched it and said to start using these and i really like it and i can definitely tell a difference i've only been using them for maybe like i got them when matthew went on his trip to california so maybe not even a month and i can tell a difference for sure i just use one pad in the morning and in the evening and i got this small one to try it i actually got mine at um ulta inside target my target does have an ulta which i know the majority of them do have ultas now and then i go in with my la rose poche i think that's how you say it um moisturizer i actually love this stuff it's so thick and creamy i need a new hyaluronic acid i used to use a good molecules one and i did like it it's like super affordable and it lasted me forever i'm just out of it um so if you have one that you recommend let me know but i need to repurchase that um and i think i also need to repurchase a niacinamide because like my skincare like i don't have that much skincare and my skincare routine i also use retinol but i use retinol in the evening and then i love using this stuff from good molecules it's the yerba mate wake up eye gel because i don't know like ever since i was like a teenager i've always had puffy eyes and like eye bags i just it's like always been a thing i don't know if it's a hereditary or not i don't remember my mom ever having like such puffy eye bags i don't know why i have them it's just like i've had them like as for as long as i can remember and i wish i could do something to get rid of them like i just always have had like the puff there like always and it like that's like one thing that like i'm like pretty insecure about and it's like I, i'm getting enough sleep like if there's somebody that's getting enough sleep it's me promise i promise you <laughs> and this stuff i love i just got it from the glow recipe event that i went to it's so good it's a spf stick that also leaves like a little bit of a sheen it's so nice and dewy it's like perfect for summer i just put this under i think i actually should have put the the moisturizer on last i feel like this is why i don't talk and like show things because i'll like start talking and showing things and then i'll like do everything out of order so i think i definitely did that out of order oh well it's on my face so it'll be fine <laughs> but yesterday uh matthew and i it was father's day we went to eat because i was like craving for some reason cheesecake factory like i like really have been wanting cheesecake factory and there's one at the barton creek mall and so afterwards we're like oh let's like walk around and of course i had to go to sephora my favorite store ever i went to i went there into lululemon and i got a new sports bra and matthew got some shorts and there's sephora and i finally found my say star glow they had one left if you saw the vlog that i went to get this stuff it's been like sold out like i've been trying to buy it thankfully i still have the like teeniest bit in my old one this has lasted me like like there's like a little bit in there this has lasted me like over a year i love this stuff especially in the summer it's perfection and like those no makeup days ooh, so good but i got one thank god because i was like i'm running out like i need a new one asap so i got one my cousin also came this past weekend and she went to Sephora while she was here in town and she got these two items i think i've tried the setting spray but i don't remember so i got a small one to try it out i used a morphe one but i just wanted something different and she said that she likes this one so i wanted to give the one size one a try and then she also purchased the one size translucent powder so i got the little small one to also try it and then i am so excited for this purchase i got the glossier you perfume oh my gosh i've been wanting to get this she's a pricey girl 
but I guess all perfumes are really pricey. It smells divine. Oh, this packaging is very cool. It's like, hopefully it's like eco-friendly. That's probably why it's like this. But look at this. It is so cute, but I finally have it. I love it because there is like some science behind it. Like it has like some like certain notes to it. But the whole point of the perfume, which I'm probably gonna like butcher the entire thing, it like somehow like matches to your like natural scent and makes like your one-of-a-kind perfume correct me if i'm wrong because i'm pretty sure i'm saying that wrong but I, oh my gosh i sprayed it and matthew was like get it and like the big bottle was like 110 dollars and that's all that we could find in the store and i was originally gonna get the little travel size but they were sold out matthew was like i don't care get the big bottle like it smells amazing on you and then they came back and they found this size and i was like okay perfect like this is a good compromise so it just smells so good if you've never smelt it i smelt it one time in store but i just smelled it straight from the bottle and i was like oh it smells very peppery because like one of the notes is like pepper but you have to spray it on your body. So spray it on your body. Let it marinate. It is so, so good. So definitely, if you're looking for a new perfume, especially for summer, like, it's just so... I can't even describe it. Like, if you want a new perfume, give this one a try. I'm going to get ready off camera so I can just speed through it. And I'll check back in once I'm done. All right, I am dressed. Do not mind my dirty mirror. But I actually thrifted this dress a couple, like, vlogs back. I have my Target bag that I also showed in a vlog a few vlogs ago this bag is literally my favorite it holds everything for shoes gonna wear probably my tory birch sandals but this is the look for today let's go oh my god look at that i know it is Made it back home and I immediately put on an oversized t-shirt and some shorts because it is way too hot in Austin. But I had the best time with my friend Crystal today. It is always just so great seeing her and catching up with her. I went with her for an errand and then we went and grabbed some lunch. Just had some girl time. Just talked. We also went to um, pick up her dog's food. And I actually got something to try for Bella. It's this uh, pet store called Barking Creek Dog Kitchen. And they actually make like homemade dog food and they like sell it like this. So this is the place here in Austin. And I actually got Bella this chicken and rice pack. This whole pack, which lasts probably about a week or so, this was seven dollars, which I thought was actually a really great deal. And Bella doesn't eat that much anyways because she's also like a senior dog. She literally weighs probably like ten pounds. She does eat kibble now, but because she's so old, she kind of like tends to throw it up a lot. And she, you know, she's just a very old gal. And I want her to have like nutrition and like nourishment, and she loves chicken. So I was like, ooh, let me try this for Bella. I wanted to try it for Ranger, but. He does have like his like food and like allergy sensitivities. There's a beef one that I might try. I just actually talked to Matthew and he's like, oh, you should have got it to try it. But I'll probably go back so that we can try it. But I will definitely update you on that how Bella likes it because I'm sure she'll love it. But um, I'll keep you updated and I probably will go get the one for Ranger. And this vlogger or maybe, or maybe even the next one. He's like, now I feel bad. He's going to like be left out. He's going to have his kibble and Bella's going to be eating <laughs> some good food. My friend Crystal gets her dog food there and she got like so many packs. They have like... um. They have like lamb, beef, and then they have like salmon, and like they have like one with potatoes and like rice, like just like different things. Pretty cool and like honestly like pretty affordable, like compared to like the price of kibble nowadays. So just wanted to share that. But we also went to Kirby Lane, and I have been wanting to try Kirby Lane, and oh my gosh, it was so good. We each got like a breakfast plate, and then I got mine with the um lemon poppy seed French toast. We shared it. I still have some in the fridge, I'm gonna say for Matthew. It was so, so good. Delicious. So I can't wait to go back there with Matthew because I loved it. 10 out of 10. If you haven't been to Kirby Lane, try it out. So good. But yeah, we're just so good hanging out with her and seeing her. I didn't vlog a whole lot with her. I wish I would have because she is just so funny and like a joy to be around. I wanted to like be present with her. I don't have to like vlog because like I genuinely like love her and like want to talk to her. Also, if you're not following her, give her a follow. She does like mid-sized fashion content. She has like the best Amazon finds. I cannot tell you how many things I've purchased from her links. She's also like inspired me to do like some fashion content. So I definitely need to get on that. Do like some plus size like fashion content. She also does a lot of book content too so give her a follow her handles at crystal lauren but it's now two o'clock i have lots of laundry to do because i haven't had any laundry pods and i recently went to target and i bought the actual laundry that you just like pour out in a little cup because my costco membership like um 
expired i went online to like order some like for same day delivery and i couldn't sign in because of my costco membership um i have to renew it so i was like that's fine so when i went to target i just bought like a jug to like tie me over but tell me why i kind of like the actual jug versus the pods i feel like my clothes are like cleaner and they smell better like fresher so i might just start buying the jug i remember why i stopped buying them because it's like so heavy <laughs> like pulling it off of the shelf but I like the way my clothes felt because I did one load last night. So I have to do laundry and then I have some content to edit. And then when Matthew comes home around 6, I will go to HEB because I need a full grocery restock because I have no groceries. Ah, shoot. Okay, maybe this is why I buy the Tide Pods. The next day let's make a protein smoothie start with a cup of strawberries and bananas you can do any fruit that you like last night i did go grocery shopping i did not end up logging it i did end up freezing some greek yogurt this is the honey vanilla greek yogurt from the greek gods it's so good but i ended up freezing it in this ice tray i actually got this ice tray from target it's so cool because it has a lid and it also has these stoppers so it doesn't like slide around your fridge but i wanted to freeze the greek yogurt so that way it comes out a little bit like more frozen because i noticed that my smoothies are a little like too watery for my liking so i hope that this would help the consistency and just push it up and the um, little cubes just come right out so i'm gonna put about four of these in there maybe just three i'm gonna add two of these pitted dates some oat milk i love this one from the milk brand and i just eyeball it i'm out of this one so i'm gonna put a little bit more of my new bottle I'm also gonna add a scoop of collagen peptides and two scoops of this protein powder. I really like this one. It's from Owen and it's a plant-based protein, but it actually tastes really good and it blends really, really well. And last but not least, some honey. For aesthetic purposes, you can put in a really cute class. And I actually tried this trick that I want to show you. So I was trying to like copy the Hailey Bieber, you know, like Air One smoothie. But I don't have that coconut cream. And I also don't really love coconut. I will have it for like the benefits and stuff, but it's like not my favorite taste-wise. So this is the actual Greek yogurt. This is how it looks. This is one that I love, the Greek Gods Honey Vanilla Yogurt. <gasps> I didn't get the Honey Vanilla one. I meant to get Honey Vanilla, but that's okay. Well, what we're going to do is take a little like thin spatula. You're just going to grab some on here and you're going to smear it on your glass. So it gives like that like, like effect, you see? And it'll actually like stay. And it looks so cute. Also, the great thing about this recipe is you can like customize it to whatever you want. So if you don't want it to be Greek yogurt, it doesn't have to be Greek yogurt. You can literally like customize it to whatever you want if you don't like strawberry and banana add a different fruit if you don't like honey don't like dates you can use something else for like a natural version of a sweetener let's get a little taste test even though i know how it tastes but let me just try it on camera with you so so good so good cheers it is a bit later. I have gotten dressed. I'm actually off to meet my friend Kezia for some coffee. This is very rare for me to have like two friend coffee dates or like friend outings back to back, but you know what? It's okay. But for today's oats, you have this really cute little like baby tee from Target, my white Amazon skirt, my Target bag, and I just curled my hair. My hair is like third day. It needs to be washed, but I, I just had, you know, no time. So it's all good, but Let's go meet Kezia. I haven't seen her in what feels like forever because she's been out of town and just see we've just both been really busy so I cannot wait to see her and hug her and just spend some time with her. I am back home from meeting with Kezia. We had the best time. We ended up going to Dear Austin which is a coffee shop that like recently opened here in Austin. 
pocket ranger it was actually so so cute the coffee was actually pretty good too we ended up sitting inside and getting some content the owner was so nice too she saw us like getting like content and she was like oh like do you have like an instagram and stuff like do you guys like take pictures or like whatever i forgot like how she like approached us and because he's like yeah like she does instagram and she's like oh like would you guys want like their new like menu item drink like to feature in like your video and i was like oh sure so she gave us like this like new matcha for free it was actually really good i'm not like a big matcha girly but i wanted to try it because like i kind of want to like get into matcha i don't love matcha but i want to try it it was actually really good it was like a dragon fruit like matcha it had like dragon fruit like cold foam on it it was pretty good i did actually really like it and i got like my go-to honey vanilla oat milk ice latte and it was very very good we ended up sitting inside getting the content the owner was so so sweet she also owns like a little like cat cafe right next door so it was just really really nice we sat inside got some content and then we went outside to talk because it was like really quiet inside and we just had to catch up we needed some girl time and we were both like should we go outside because it's really hot but we were like eff it let's just go because we need to just have some girl chats and it was so shaded so breezy and also where we sat there was like a fan directly under us so it was like the perfect like weather like it was just perfect so if you go to dear austin i recommend and there's like so much seating outside we also did get lunch from it's called Eastside kings i got like some chicken kakatsu probably butchering that bowl me and kezia got the same thing and she also ordered the fries oh my gosh it was so so good i'm not even hungry for dinner matthew will be home in a couple hours and i don't even know how i'm gonna cook dinner because i am so full and i was gonna make like this like salmon orzo pasta for dinner so i don't even know how i'm gonna do that but i just had the best time and i'm so happy i saw her because i have missed that girl but i am back home now i have all of this laundry to do this is the before and this is the after everything is folded now i just have to put it all away ended up making dinner i made this like salmon orzo pasta dish i've never had anything like this it just sounded good and looked good so this is dinner hopefully it tastes good i will link the recipe in my description box for you what are you gonna do oh, gonna put the light on oh thank you so oh this is your first vlog appearance um not working the night shift. I don't know. I How know. do you feel? I feel good. Don't judge me. I know. I'm trying to grow my Oh, this out. is also your first vlog with no facial hair. They're know. probably like, who is this man? I don't know. I didn't realize how, like, I had a double chin. Yeah, all I look. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But we're going to eat a delicious meal tonight. Are you excited? I'm excited. It smells real good. Yeah. Hello, it is now Wednesday. I actually was not going to even vlog today because I just had like those two back-to-back -back friend outings and I really didn't get any work done the past two days and I just haven't been really productive. I have so much stuff to edit and I have some emails to answer so I was like, I just need a day this week just to like really buckle down and just like not vlog, not film content, just to edit and do kind of like the back end work of stuff. That was today. That's what I've been doing. I've been like editing and answering emails all morning but I just got in something and I am so excited because I am like, I've just been like so excited for this. And like now that Matthew works the day shift, I can set this up and I'm just, I'm so excited. Okay, well, it's literally in my front door, it's right outside there. So let me show you. And you're gonna get a little bit of me today on this beautiful Wednesday. I cannot even see. Felt like I had something in my teeth because I just ate like some spinach dip. So hopefully, I didn't have anything in my teeth in that clip. <laughs> but I did order this chair from a TikTok shop. I hardly ever order stuff from TikTok shop, only when it's like a really, really good deal. And I have been wanting this chair because I want to set up a little like getting ready like desk area in the apartment. And this is like the perfect chair for that. Let me show you kind of like what I'm thinking. Ranger of course has to like inspect everything. So I actually have this little like rolling desk, which I think I'm gonna use for the meantime. I just kind of have this like, I can literally put it anywhere. We honestly kind of use it as like a side table. I use it as a work table when I edit out here. Right now, currently, I am literally editing from bed because I can do that now. But the great thing about Matthew working days is I can like edit in my room 
Isn't it great, Ranger? It's fantastic. So the other thing that I like really wanted and was, and was like really important for me was to have Ranger's kennel in our bedroom. So that way like he could be in the room with me at night because I just felt like safer as opposed to if he was in the living room. Now that Matthew is here, cause like our room is so small as it is. That is literally it. It's like a mess right now too, so sorry. You guys have seen it when it's clean. Like y'all see everything here, so I am not ashamed. This just needs to go. I'm thinking to put a little makeup area right here. I eventually wanna buy like a little Amazon vanity. I have a couple in my cart, but it's not like a necessity at this moment. I can make the other one work for the meantime. So I'm gonna take Ranger's kennel out, put it in the living room, put the desk and chair here and I can start getting ready. It'll just be so nice to have somewhere like designated to get ready because like I will get ready like in the most like random spots. Like I'll get ready on the kitchen island. I'll get ready on the bed. I'll get ready on the couch or I'll get ready in the restroom. Like wherever like I can like get ready like if matthew's asleep or if he's in the restroom like i don't have like a designated spot in our old apartment i had like a whole office and like a getting ready room and like a beauty filming room like that whole thing here we obviously don't because you know for many reasons hopefully maybe sometime soon we'll upgrade to a two bedroom but honestly i'm really enjoying just like this small apartment living there's something about living in like a small like cozy spot it's easier to clean easier to maintain and you don't accumulate a lot of stuff i noticed in our last two bedroom apartment i accumulated so much stuff that i have literally had to get rid of when we moved and since we don't own a home now it's like it's like pointless for me to like keep buying in and buying and buying stuff and i know i can just like stop buying this stuff but i literally have no self-control <laughs> so um anyways besides all that i'm just very excited to have a little area that i can get ready at now so i'm gonna move Rangers kennel out vacuum the carpet and do all that process and i will show you once it's all set up, I'm so excited. I set it up. It actually wasn't that hard. It is so, so cute for now. This is like my temporary little makeup area set up. I am going to get like a different desk like on Amazon or something. But so cute. The chair is actually very comfy. Also, let me turn on the light so that you can see. On the description, the chair looked lighter. And it's definitely like a darker cream color, which it's fine. It's coming across light on camera, but it's darker in person. But that's okay. It's still really cute. It is very, very comfortable. I do like that it has wheels. I do wish that the base was like white to match like obviously like the legs of the desk. But it's okay. It's fine. It works great. It was very affordable. I got it from the TikTok shop. If you follow me on TikTok, you can click my showcase. And you can like purchase it there. Or I will link one that is like the exact same Thing on Amazon. I do really really like it and it was actually pretty easy to assemble so that was a win for me and Matthew did not have to help me. I did it all on my own and I'm very very proud. Hello it's now Thursday. Matthew's home from work. It's like now Thursday evening. <laughs> He's wearing my new apron. <laughs> I mean, they're going to be like, why is he wearing an apron? I know. No shirt. I know. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, if there's a nip slip, you know, this is just reality. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I cook shirtless. I don't know why. It's just what I do a lot of the time. Mm hmm So. So, whatever. I'm going to give you a haul really quick because Matthew's going to start cooking. Thank you. So, I asked for a sweet treat, and he got these little cupcakes. They look so good. There's some Lucky Spoon Bakery gluten-free strawberry strawberry cupcakes. They look delicious. Mm -hmm. And the star of the show for dinner tonight is this shrimp. You got it from Sprouts. We showed it before in a vlog. Yeah, this like, is a different one. Though. Oh, it is? Well, I think we had it once. It's the, the Cajun one? Yeah. That's so I didn't have that one last time because I didn't have it, right? Yeah. So it's the Cajun butter shrimp. It's not focusing. It's focusing on your face. <laughs> it's this one the cajun butter shrimp it just wants to focus on you whatever <laughs> <laughs> i'm all at, and the apron's got strawberries <laughs> and some panera mac and cheese for a side we're doing it simple yes doing it simple he also got these i love these little breakfast rounds they're so good or these little what are they called snack rounds blueberry muffin my favorite and then asparagus. some asparagus so let's whip up this dinner and I'm not cooking tonight. You are. He texted me this morning when he got to work and he was like, you've done so much at work. What did you say? It was very nice. He's like, she has been working and like on top of all her work and editing, which is a lot. Yeah. Um, she's been like full on like 
being like Maria Conchito. Like, <laughs> she's been like cleaning everything. Like every yeah. time I walk in here, it's spotless. And then like she's like cooking like a full blown like badass meal. So I was like, you know what? Like I can cook something simple for her tonight. And I love the shrimp from Scrap. They're already marinated. We have had. You get the Jamaican jerk one. My, that's yeah. my favorite. Yeah, the Jamaican jerk. Well, they haven't had it. No, the they, last, like, they didn't have two it today. Three weeks, no. Oh. I hope they're not getting rid of it because it's like it's like really good. It's I tried it. It's good if you like spicy. I know for sure the San Antonio one does sell it. This is kind of Um, this is Cajun butter. We've had this before. It's good. And then the black garlic. Yes. That one is very good too. But I'll show you how dinner comes out. Dinner is done. This literally looks so good. Look at that. Wow, she is a beauty. Thanks, babe. She is beauty, she is grace. Cajun butter shrimp. <laughs> Good morning. Currently sitting at menu getting ready area to get ready for the day. I feel like it's so important for a girl to have their, their own space where like to get ready. If you don't have like your like a designated area, like you just feel so like disorganized and like all, all over the place. Like it just feels so nice to have like your own spot and I am just so excited. But I just get a little package from Lululemon when me and Matthew went this past weekend. Um, I wanted to get another pair of biker shorts. But the ones that I have, they're just like a little too short for me. I wanted them a little bit longer and they don't carry like, I think these are the six inch ones. These are the eight inch ones. I don't know if that was right. Well, whatever size that they carry in store, they don't carry anything bigger. They only carry them online. Oh no, these look right. Yeah. So I got a pair of the Align biker shorts, the eight inch. And they came, I literally ordered them on Sunday and they came in today. So that's like really quick shipping. So freaking cute. I will most likely wear them today. So this is them, the Lululemon Align biker shorts. They are literally my favorite shorts ever. The Align brand from Lululemon is just like my favorite ever. I love the leggings. I love the biker shorts. I also bought one of the Align tanks. The fabric is just like so, it's Ranger. Move out of the way. Thank you, sir. You're ruining everything. The fabric is just so buttery smooth. So I will probably wear that today because after I kind of come to a stopping point with work, I for sure have to go get my nails done because I have all those brand deals to film. I feel like I've been like back and forth with this whole like nail saga, like with trying to do my nails at home, trying to find like a better option. I don't know. Like I've just been super unhappy with all the nail salons here in Austin, but I literally have like three brand deals that I have to film this weekend. I know I need nails because they currently look very tragic. So I'm just going to suck it up. But I've obviously been struggling trying to find a nail salon here in Austin. I think I might just go back to like the OG one that I've been to there's just something about it that I just don't like and it's nothing that has to do with the people and like how they do the nails it's something else and it's just so dumb honestly like they do nails fine and it's reasonably priced so I'm just gonna go there and just probably do like dip or something but, but I am still on the hunt to try to find a really good nail salon here in Austin I know that I've gotten some really great recommendations but this is like super last minute so I'm just gonna go there they're still I called them and they said just to walk on in and I'm like are you sure I don't need an appointment like, I'm like, is this a red flag? <laughs> it's gonna go well. But I'm just gonna do a quick makeup look so I can start working and then come to a stopping point and then head out to get our nails done. If y'all want a great sandwich and you're on Austin, come to Spicy Boys. <laughs> this is the best sandwich. It's so good. And their tots and their spicy ranch, so good. <laughs> 